Hi Elevator Community, this is the new video 6 with a way of showing you how to track down the elevators and rooms in hotels in various cities. Let me show you. Like here you have New York. Oh, by the way, this website is called room77.com. It, it tracks down the rooms and the elevators and other things in it. So let's go to the... Uh, say the W Hotel Times Square, which I know a lot of people go to. It loads. And you see you have a couple of options. You have the hotel name up top. Let's get rid of this. You have different options like that. And then you you can set how important things are to you. So floor high, view important, elevator near, and connecting room, don't care. So, as you can see on the top floor, 57, there are orange rooms, which on the bottom you see you have a key saying strong views, okay views, and red meaning weak views. And let's start from the bottom floor, 10. You ha see it has rooms on one slide with five elevators. One, two, three. So you can see the key down here says that. And you press a room. On the left, it will say what kind of room it is. And on top, it has a view. And these arrows are clickable only if it's really a corner room. So you can switch to satellite. Let's say we want room 2012. You have two view options that one. And that one. And it's a wonderful room. King. So we're going to the 57th floor now. Room 5709 is an extreme wow suite. And this view isn't available because so few people have stayed there. Uh, 5704, a spectacular room, is there. And these are generated via Google Earth. So, so let's go to another hotel. Pick a city, any city. Okay, so I have pulling up the Fountain Blue Miami Beach, which I'll be going to in November. So I want to take a look at it. And this is a perfect example of the abilities of this website. You have four different towers. So I'll be in the Sorrento Tower, but I'm going to press Treasure Tower. You see it shows it's the top floor, the 23rd floor. It shows two rooms very large ones at that, and four elevators right here, and two spas. Let's say I click a room, it'll show the view on top, oh, and if you click an arrow, it shows the different views to the side and off front, and this room is a Tresser penthouse, floor 37, elevator 9 feet away, two king beds, 4,500 square foot, no smoking, view, and connecting room. It has a lot of things here on this website, which makes it so powerful. And down on the bottom floor, you have these weak rooms. Weak rooms, which happen to be Tresser one-bedroom suites, one kings. You have the owner's lounge, and room 2706, which is not really showing up right there. And here you have an OK view, an OK view, Ocean View Junior. So let's switch to the other tower. See, so you have three right there. And you can pretty much just scroll. This one has three. This, this will actually be the building I'm in. And another three there. Just for the fun of it. Let's go to another one. Okay, this is the Hotel Wailea Maui. And if you look down here, it has two rooms and two floors, but that's weird. On the left, it shows a lot more rooms. And there are 21 towers to choose from. You see you have ocean view rooms, two possible sides, partial ocean views. Let's try to find a green. Here's a green one. This happens to be a luxury suite. 
and while I have enough time, let's try to find a. Okay, here is the signature at Engine Grant. And let me show you another feature. You can type a hotel, feedback. You can also enter the room number. And here is some tips and a description of the hotel. Let's say in the MGM Grand signatures, you the best views of the Las Vegas Strip, floors 10 to 45 and Tower 3. And Tower 3 has the quietest rooms and corner rooms, and all three towers are one bedroom suites. The largest room pip available. So let's go ahead and type a room number. Let's say 4520. On the top floor, you see it has one four arrows from all different views. Oh, there's a view of the airport. And it even shows you the six passenger elevators and the service elevators. See, let's say tower three. Same thing. Tower two. Oh, okay, all buildings are the same. So I hope you enjoy that little uh, website I found. I actually recommend it off a magazine. So uh, please come here, uh, this website, if you ever need to find a hotel. And um, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm just going to look at some more while I have enough recording time. See here you have a giant hotel, which is really good for this website. See you have one, two sets of three. Down here, there is another set of three. So you don't have to miss out on any of them. And that is pretty much it. Room77.com. Right up there. It will be posted in the description. There's also an iPhone app if you're on the go. Recommended, I have it, or will have it in a couple minutes. And it is also the Launch Conference 2011 website winner and featured in all these magazines.